Hey everybody, Patton here. Today I'm going to show you how to play Sega CD games on your Sega Genesis Mini. It's a little bit more complicated. You need BIOS files, you have to be able to recognize certain game types, and you have to know which core to use depending on what kind of game you want to play. But I promise I'll make this as easy as possible and we'll get you up and running without any issues. To begin with, you have to hack your system using HackGCE. I'll have a tutorial video in my description you can follow to get that done. After you've hacked your system, you'll see that at the bottom you have about 170 megabytes of free space. And that is nowhere near enough. That's not even enough to put one Sega CD game on your system. So you're going to have to use some kind of external storage. I also have a video explaining how to do that in my description. The first thing I'm going to touch on is how to add BIOS files. We have the three BIOS files right here, BIOS underscore CD underscore E j and u dot bin e for european j for japanese and u for us what's very important about these files is they have to be spelled exactly like this with the correct case bios is lowercase the cd and the region letter are all uppercase they're separated by two underscores and bin is lowercase as well so to add these files go into your tools tab go to open ftp client this file system will pop up we want to go to etc Libretro, System, and this is where your BIOS files will go. Just highlight them and drag them into this folder. Next we're going to install the cores you're going to use to play these games on your system. Go to the Modules tab and do the KMFD Mod Hub. Go into the RetroArch tab and you have two options for RetroArch Ozone and XMB. These are just different menu variations. XMB gives you a PSP or a PS3 type menu. Ozone will give you a switch looking menu that you'll see in this video. After you've selected which menu you want, hit the download module button. Then you can go to the cores tab. Scroll down until you get to the Sega area and we have two cores we're going to look at today. Genesis Plus GX and Pico Drive. It's very important that you choose the correct core depending on what games you want to play. If you have multi-disc games, they have to be played in Pico Drive. Genesis Plus GX does not allow you to change discs. And in contrast to that, Genesis Plus GX allows you to play CHD files, which are compressed Sega CD games. That feature is not available in Pico Drive. So for Genesis Plus GX, I recommend single disc games and Pico Drive multi-disc games. So we're gonna highlight both of these cores and hit download modules. You can close out the mod hub, Go back to your Modules tab and install Extra Modules. We're going to put a check next to RetroArch, Genesis Plus GX, and Pico Drive. Then hit OK. When looking for your games online, you may see that there's a bunch of different file types. The best ones to use are in bin and Q format. You may also see ISO, WAVE, and Q format. Those work as well. If you see something like IMG with MP3 files, those will not work. For games with one disk, they can be compressed into what's called CHD files. To do that, we use a program called chdman.exe. I'll have a link to this program in my description. Along with the exe file, there is a bat file that KMFD Manic created himself to make this much easier. All you have to do is take your bin and Q files, copy them, and paste them into the same folder as chdman. Double click the batch file, and you'll get a pop-up saying that the files are being compressed. Something else you may want to pay attention to is that the Q file points to the bin file. To do that, you need a program like Notepad++. Simply right-click the Q file, edit with Notepad++. What we're looking for is the same exact spelling and case of the bin file in this section right here between the quotes. As long as this matches your bin file, you should be good to go. If for some reason CHD man doesn't work, it could be because your Q file isn't pointing to your bin correctly. Once that's been completed, we can take a look at our CHD file and see that it has been reduced significantly by over 200 megabytes. Once again, this only works on single disk games in bin and Q format. We're going to take this CHD file, drag it right into Hackchi. We'll get a pop-up asking us what console and core to use. Highlight your game, select Mega Drive Genesis, and pick Genesis Plus GX. Hit apply, then close. If you're adding your games in bin and Q format, you only have to drag the Q file over. So for Amazing Spider-Man, we take the Q, drag that into HackG, change our core one more time, apply, close. Now if we right click, show in Windows Explorer, you'll see we have the Q file and the bin file has been added automatically. That includes games with ISO and WAV files. Drag the Q over and the ISO and WAV files moved as well. For multi-disc games like Sherlock Holmes or Night Trap, you only want to add the Q for the first disc. So we'll take the disc one Q, put it in HackG, 
Make sure you're selecting Pico Drive for multi-disc games, apply, and close. If we right-click Night Trap, show in Windows Explorer, we have Disk 1 Bin and Q. With this window still open, go back to your games, click on your Disk 2 Bin and Q, drag them into this folder. This is how your multi-disc folder should look in the end, one bin and cube file per disc. Now I'm going to add the rest of these games real quick. I'm just going to highlight the cues, drag them into HackG. Once you're all done, just export the games to your USB drive. One more thing I do want to make note of, you cannot use zipped files for this. Any disc-based games you add to HackG cannot be zipped. I have one last thing to show you guys, so we're going to head over to the Genesis Mini. Alright, here's all the games that we added. We're going to test some of these out. We're going to start out with Sonic CD. This was requested in the comment section. And this is just a regular bin and queue file. We're going to hit A. The game is running fine, it sounds great, it looks really nice. A giveaway that maybe you did something wrong, and which is common in a lot of Sega CD games, if you don't have background music, that usually means that you got a bad bin or a cue file, or you didn't add something correctly. Next we're going to take a look at Syndicate. This was our ISO Wave and Q file game. As you can see, this is a mega CD game, so another reason that you want to add all the BIOS files to your system. That way you can play games from all three regions. Listen for that background music. Let's take a look at Batman Returns, our CHD game. So even though it's compressed, it looks like it's running full speed, sounds great, and looks awesome. And finally, I'm going to show you guys how to switch discs for your multi-disc games. We're going to choose everybody's favorite, Sherlock Holmes, Consulting Detective Volume 2. I actually picked this game because it's easy for me to show you how this is done. This last mission is on the second disc. If I go to select it, It'll tell me to insert disk B and then push B when ready. So we're going to go into our RetroArch menu. We need to hit up to go to the bottom of our quick menu. We want this disk control option. We're going to go down to disk image append and this should all look familiar. This is the folder that HackChi added when we added our game. And if you look in the bottom left, you can see the game is running with Pico Drive. So since we currently have disk one inserted, we need to select disk two. You can choose either the bin or a queue. Either one is fine. This has been a very upsetting day for me. Undoubtedly, Sir Simpson, you are referring to last night's theft of the two de Kuyper paintings from the National Gallery. You've heard? All of London has heard. <sighs> Tell it. And that's all I have for you guys. If you're having any trouble with this, I'll have the link to the Rock and the Classics Discord in my description at the bottom. It's a little bit extra work, but it's very worth it to play these Sega CD games on your Genesis Mini with Hack GCE. And that's it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through YouTube memberships and Patreon. Eric Colon, Jordi Alex, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, Dor, Yaroslav Orudzov, Den Cardoso, Andre G, Randy Day, and Batman. <laughs>